I know you've been doing this, but I just want to make sure you have something on video so that you can you know, do this at home and make sure you got it correctly. All right, and he's going to try to keep his elbow as straight as he can. Now he's just going to go back as far as he can. You know, always kind of being around here just to make sure he doesn't all of a sudden uh, fall because he can. Uh, the thing we don't want to have is a, like an external rotation or an internal rotation very quickly. So the straighter he keeps his elbow, the less likely it's going to fall in one direction or the other direction in a rotation. Okay, keep that elbow straight as you can, all the way down here. So right there, he doesn't have strength, which is normal because he just basically had a uh, thing driven through his rotator cuff. He's gonna, it's basically almost like a rotator cuff there. Thing is going to have him do a shoulder elevation, it's going to be very difficult for him. Right here, gravity is helping him go down, so it's a lot easier. He's actually using these muscles to hold the, the arm where he wants to go. But as he gets past 90 degrees going this direction, it's going to cause his shoulder muscles to weak. I uh, use the, the anterior shoulder muscles and the medial shoulder muscles. I want him to go back down to here and bring it back up if we can. But I want to kind of be around to make sure that he doesn't get all of a sudden fall. Alright, come back up, come back up, come back up. There you go. Now, now just go to 90 degrees and come back down. So we'll, now we're going to work on a separate range. So we went all the way up and all the way down, all the way up and all the way down. Now we're going to try to work in those kind of range that he's weak in. So come back up and watch how go to that point where he really has difficulty bringing it back up and maybe moving that point away a little bit. Let's go back down my hand now. So I'm moving it just like a little bit at a time, trying to find the range that he's like, oh my gosh, I can't hold it anymore. Come back up. Now I'm gonna bring up my hand a little bit lower so he really gets that, that point. How you feeling? You kind of play in that range. Also, you want to go this way and that way. So I don't really want to go past 90 degrees here because it's not really functional past that. Uh, we may do some reaching at one point, but that's way out on the road. Um, so I do want to come out toward me as far as I can. And of course, I'm always here to catch him if he if he falls. Anyway, good. Can you go? Uh, yeah. Of course, with this, if he gets real weak and because he has a little bit of bend in his elbow, it's going to try to rotate. And that's, that's what we don't want. So just keep an eye on that. So keep the elbow straight as you can. to do some active assistive in the range that he's really weak he really can't do it so we'll help him out up
also we can do the same thing in this range. And up. pretty easy, just active assistive, active range of motion. Trying to get back is 